Hello developers, I'm Michael and today's topic is about how to make teams in React application. First of all, I wanted to point it out that there is really many ways and many approaches how you can do it. But for this example, I created React application with TypeScript, with Context API, with CSS variables and React hooks. Let's start it now. Okay, now let's see what we are going to build. This is final result of Teams implementation, which I'm going to show you in this video. Now I'd like to give you brief knowledge about how we are going to implement this. So this is our application structure, nothing complicated, just app component with two children. I called it content and footer. Then I'd like to wrap this entire app inside team provider, which provides value managed by Context API. Then I can simply use my custom hook use team to get an information provided by team provider in any place in its components tree, even few levels below. Now let's see types and configuration used in this example. First is team type, which is union of dark and light. Then we have team interface, which has keys named in CSS variable convention, because in the end, I'd like to use them directly in CSS files. Values are type color, which is enum with color names and values. Based on those, I'm going to create teams configuration, which is an object with team type as a key and an object aligned to team interface as a value. So in the end, we will have light and dark teams objects with different colors set. Enough theory, let's see current state of our app. And this is how our application looks like. I already created all components. Only missing part is actually teams. We need to build team context and provide it to our components. Okay, so let's start it now. There you can see app component which is really simple component with content and a footer inside. Then we have few really simple components. Let's look at it. Content component, which contains only GSX with title, paragraphs and buttons. There you can see some content styles. Next is footer, which contains only logo. For now, this is only violet version. We will support also white version. And the last is button component, which has two types, primary and secondary. Both types will have different set of colors, depends on team. We already have all types like team type and team interface. There you have also color enum with all colors and its values. And I also prepared some images to use in this example. Okay, let's finally start from creating our team context. So first I'm import react. Then let's create team context using react create context. The next thing is team provider, which is going to handle team change and returns team context provider with all values. Let's create state management for setting current team. There we go. Now we can return team context provider. For now just empty object as a value and we will fill it in a minute. And of course children because we want to wrap entire app inside this provider. Then I'd like to create team context props interface. And this interface describes what I'm going to pass down in this context. So as you can see, we would like to pass down team type, team and set current team function to have a possibility to change team from any place in application structure which is wrapped by team provider. Now I'm passing all values to team context provider.
Let's go one step back and define also context object type. In the end, let's create custom hook, which is going to return use context hook with team context passed in. Cool, context is done. Now let's wrap and tie her up inside it. Since we wrap app component in team provider, we can simply consume its values. I'm going to use our custom hook to get information about team. Let's just console log those values. And as you can see, this is team object. Now we can use our team object from team context and pass it to the style property of element, which is highest in the hierarchy of components wrapped by team provider. And now, you can use our colors in CSS files. This is really powerful because CSS variables cascade downwards, so you can use it or even override it in any child component. Okay, check if it works. For now, I need to change manually initial state of team context. Let's continue with other components. In footer component is only one thing I need to do. I'd like to render logo image depends on chosen team. First, I need to import second logo. Then I'd like to use team type from our custom hook. Now I'm going to use ternary operator to render white or violet logo depends on current team. Logo has changed. All is fine and we can continue. Next component is content and there we want to pass proper functions to buttons to have a possibility to change team by clicking one of them. Now I'm going to copy the name of set current team function and then I can use it from our custom hook. Let's replace console log with set current team function. First button should change team to the light one. And second to the dark one, of course. Now we just need to update some CSS styles. Content component is child of app component. That's why I can use CSS variables, which I passed in app component. The last component is button, and since it's also child of app component, which is our main, then we can also use CSS variables inside. Okay guys, we made it. Now let's see the result of our work. Ok guys, it's all for today. If you have another ideas and other approaches how to solve it, let me know in comments. And I also encourage you to subscribe my channel to be up to date with my incoming videos. See you next time!